the second mystery of Paschal Tide, the Ascension. Doctrinal note for the Ascension. The second feast that is kept during Paschal Tide is the Ascension, which crowns the whole of our Lord's life. For the risen Christ must needs cease to tread the soil of our poor earth and must return to his Father in whose bosom, as God, he must be for all eternity, and where, in St. Cyprian's words, his humanity is now welcomed with a joy no tongue can express. Christ is now to take possession of the kingdom of heaven, which he has won by his sufferings, and to open to us his Father's house, setting our frail nature at the right hand of God's glory, that there, as God's children, we may fill the place from which the angels fell. So, as conqueror of sin and Satan, Jesus enters heaven, while the angels hail and greet their king, and the souls of the just, free from limbo, form for him an escort of glory. I go to prepare a place for you, he told his apostles, and St. Paul asserts that God has made us sit together with Christ in the heavenly places, since already we are saved by hope. There where the head has entered, says St. Leo, the body also is called to penetrate. The triumph of Christ is the triumph of his church. Like the high priest, who, under the old law, entered the Holy of Holies to offer the blood of the victims to Almighty God, our Lord, the Apostle tells us, has entered the Holy of Holies of the heavenly Jerusalem there to offer his own blood, the blood of the New Testament, and to obtain for us favors from God. It is on Ascension Day that Christ begins his heavenly priesthood, showing his glorious wounds to God. He is always inviting to make intercession for us, and has obtained for us the Holy Ghost with all his gifts. While it is the complement of all our Lord's feasts, the Ascension is the fount of our sanctification. As the Church sings in the preface, He was lifted up into heaven, so that He might make us partakers of His Godhead. It is not enough, says Dom Geringer, for a man to rest on the merits of our Redeemer's passion, not enough to unite to his memorial, that of the resurrection as well. Man is saved and restored only by the union of these two mysteries with a third, that of the triumphant ascension of him who died and rose again. <laughs>